It is that time of year. The roads are about to get more dangerous in Michigan as winter weather creates slippery conditions. There is no question road salt saves lives. A Marquette University study found salt reduces accidents by up to 88% and injuries by up to 85%. But road salt also has its shortcomings, should I say, as it contaminates our environment. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell digging into how environmentalists and the state plan to use salt more efficiently. Winter is coming and that means road commissions around Michigan have huge stockpiles of salt as they prepare to de-ice our roads. But what are the environmental impacts of putting so much salt on our roads? We're taking a look at that and alternatives. Every year, more than 19 million tons of road salt is used in the United States, according to the National Minerals Information Center. Then it washes off the roads. Oakland County Water Resource Commissioner Jim Nash says next to roads, as a result, on salty ground, invasive plants at times thrive. Basically, ocean shore plants growing along our water, along our roads in some areas, because there's just so much salt. Salt running off into freshwater systems can change, you know, obviously the salinity of those downstream waterways. Megan Tinsley is water policy director of the Michigan Environmental Council, which on Friday will host an event on this issue. She says we need to understand if we don't find ways to use less salt, the impact will grow at stake. Our drinking water. Scientists have been able to detect um, road salt and actually know that the that the source of of the elevated salinity in the drinking water wells is coming from road salt. The bottom line for us is motorist safety. Craig Bryson, a senior communications manager of the Road Commission for Oakland County, he says the commission has looked at alternatives. For example, they tried out beef juice, but found it attracted animals to the road. So far, when it comes to cost and performance. Nothing matches salt. We try to do everything as green as we possibly can. Over time, how have things changed to decrease how much salt is being used? So in the old days, we had uh, the bed of the truck was the salt spreader. You raised the truck and gravity forced the salt out the back of the truck. No matter whether you were stopped or driving or what speed you were going, the salt just kept coming out at the same rate. We have computerized salt spreaders now that are hooked to the speedometer on the vehicle. You can see a number of ways that the equipment has improved over the years, also featuring brine tanks and brine makes the salt go further. The Road Commission says it gets more calls from people who want to see more salt than from people concerned about salt. I can get a call at three in the morning and I have to be somewhere. And if the roads aren't great, then then you've got a problem. Art Weiss is an attorney who is often on call for police unions to address issues that can arise day or night winter or summer. He says he's grateful. Salt helps keep our roads safe in the winter, but he also cares about the environment. That's the most uh, precious thing we have in Michigan. This is the water wonderland, the Great Lakes state. Art Kinnebrew says he thinks drivers want it all. Safe roads and waters protected. The Michigan Environmental Council says that's why this conversation is so important. This product that we use, which is essential to keeping us all safe, it does indeed have consequences. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much for reminding.